way you can project something through an instrument which you're also in a line with feeling as well and you're just shooting it out. That's just ultimate self-expression. G'day and welcome to Sinbun Passion Files. My name is Clancy Cinnamon and today my guests are a young five-piece band from Brisbane called Plastic Reality. Now I'll tell you what, these guys, they sure are passionate. Uh, you watch them whether they're on stage or just having a jam and they really do just teleport themselves and the audience to another time and place altogether. It really is something to behold. And I know it's the same with all good musicians. You just feel like you're being transported to some other happy place or sad place or whatever place that they wish to teleport you. But yeah, I just found it really, really interesting and I'm super grateful that they all sat down and had a chat with me about their life, their movements uh, and, and what they hope to get from uh, this, this band. So without any further ado, please enjoy getting to know Plastic Reality. It's actually like kind of a funny story to be honest. For a long time we went through like a heap of names, like there was probably a couple months where we were all like, you know what guys, like we need to think of a name, we're all sort of like, yeah, no, I guess we do. We like threw a few things around, then it got serious, um, it kind of came to like a breaking point to where we were like rehearsing and stuff and we're like, yo, we don't actually have a name, like we need to decide on something. So after like a lot of lists um, and thrown out and like kind of debated ideas and stuff, um, Sam just threw into the mix plastic reality um, and I guess like you know we all, we're all pretty keen on it like this is via group chat or whatever so we all thought you know that's a pretty cool name um, even then though we were still ridiculously indecisive um, and it basically all came to a head one day we were jamming it at USQ we're in an elevator um, and basically what happened was uh, I just wasn't really paying attention so I, I don't know I'm generally just kind of float through these things so I don't didn't really think about like oh you know you should probably press the button because like we have we had a heap of stuff in the elevator um, and like I don't know point is I had to press the button and I didn't even realize um, and then I can't remember how it happened basically we were talking about the name and it kind of comes to a head and it, it gets to a moment where George is like you know what? we're not moving this elevator until we choose a name it was a very tense moment basically um, <laughs> And it all came to a head uh, when we decided that it would be plastic reality, pretty much. It started off with like Guns N' Roses and just getting that whole um, exposure to rock and roll in general. And I think it sort of then progressed into grunge um, as you sort of discover other feelings you can, you know, along the whole side of um, like relationships and girls and that sort of stuff. Um, I think that's when I started getting into grunge because it, it that type of music in a way is miserable, but you sort of relate to how it how it makes you feel because that's how you're feeling as well. So I guess the whole grunge side came in then as, as that part. Um, but then it sort of took like a folky direction, you know, like bands like uh, Boy and Bear and that, that sort of thing, at, uh, you know, they're, they're happy music. Every single one of our songs that we play on stage definitely has a covering, from my point of view, from like those types of genres of music that I listed to you then. I lived with my grandparents when I was really young. My granddad had a guitar, always sitting there in the corner. I was just always ironing it off, I guess. It's always been a guitar there. Grew up with the classics, country music. 
bluegrass and yeah, just beautiful stuff. Just went from there. Career aspirations, I'd say, at the moment is um, to be able to play music or do something to do with music without being homeless. And the steps we're taking at the moment is um, just starting from the bottom and trying to work our way up, I guess. Just hitting up venues and working towards recording stuff and hoping people like it. I remember like me and Stixie and Shebs growing up on the property, just like walking around. I remember we were always just talking about like the stones and just old music and stuff like that in general and always just been jamming, I suppose. Uh, I was Dixie especially. Just from as long as I've been playing music, I can remember just sitting down with him doing little jams. Five minutes into the once you've started playing, that's all you see is what's in front of you and you're just having fun, making loud noises and you see other people having fun, it's, it's awesome. In this day and age, gig-wise, it's pretty easy to have guts without having guts, so you can just email them and pester them instead of rocking up and having to confront them I guess but <laughs> sending an email is a lot easier but yeah the first time's always daunting but I just got hooked on it eh? Sometimes it's like a song I heard, I want to write something that sounds like that. And then sometimes it's like, I feel like this at the moment, so I want to try and make something that sounds like that. And I'll, because I want to be able to listen to it and think, right, well that's how I'm feeling, that's how I could capture how I was feeling through that song. And then I can go back and listen to that. Honestly, it's actually something I always thought that I was going to do. It's been like a fantasy of mine. But generally, I really don't have any background in music at all, really. Like, I did, um, I did like a few like singing things when I was a bit younger. Like, I don't know, I did like a talent show and then I did a, uh, a thing for like house singing when I was like a lot younger. I'm not very well versed in music as it were. Like, it's just something that I'm starting to discover now, really. It was something I always really wanted to do. Um, so when I found out it was a thing, I, it really piqued my interest, but I didn't necessarily think that I was actually going to end up in the band. I just ended up having a go at it, and I don't know, everyone else was reasonably keen on it, so I was like, oh, hell yeah. This is a pretty cool thought, but um, I actually started thinking of like music as like a completely different like entity, like it's not me creating the music, like so when I'm having a creative block or whatever, I'm like, oh yeah, the music's just having a break for me, I guess, and <laughs> it'll come back eventually. Sometimes with writing songs, I swear it's like discovering them. Like you're waving the guitar neck in the air, like a fucking radio antenna or something, it sort of like plucks one out of the sky or something. And yeah, I just don't know how it happens sometimes. The beauty of it is, is who gives a fuck if like it's not good or anything, like, like no one has to hear it, like, or see it or whatever you're doing. Like if you make something and you're like, oh, it's pretty shit, you can fuck it off and do something else. <laughs> you always got to have a reason for why you're doing something, I guess. And like, if the reason's big enough, you can work towards it for X amount of time. And that, that's all in a chunk and then you get the reason, the reward. The reason why you're doing it's the reward at the end of it. And that can be life, that can be tonight, that can be next week. It's actually quite awesome to just have your brother in the band. It feels really, really wholesome and genuine because I've known him that long and here we are doing this. And it's just like a massive journey, really. And I, I actually do think 
fact that George's brother's in the band, Stixie's brother's in the band as well, it makes it that much tighter. But like Ben, like it's a close group because we've all been to the same, we've all been through the same school, the same system, like we've all got that in common. So like that just ties it together as well. There's just so many different correlations in the band that it just makes it, you know, makes it tight. And how does it feel to be the one missing out? Well, that's the beauty of being in a band like me and George will write or Sam and George will write or me and Tom will write or Ben and Sam will write something and we'll all just like bring an idea in and just jam it and come out like it'll change up and like there's no rules to it. That's why I like it, eh? Just like lawless. I think with the lineup we have now and everyone being as committed and as keen to keep going as they are, I can definitely see us doing this for a long time. It really is just so much fun. Like, I don't know, to, to really think where it's going to be is almost irrelevant. Like, it's one of those things where it's like an aspiration that I have and I'm pretty keen to just keep doing it. I hope we're all doing whatever the fuck we love and also the, the band is doing its best. I don't wanna waste your time, all I got to say, things are good my way. I can see myself somewhere satisfied anyway, because I know like we're gonna stick with this and when we when it gets to that point in time, I'll know I've achieved that anyway. Well, there you have it, plastic reality. To see them out there really going for it, putting themselves out there, yeah, it's really commendable. So good on you, fellas. And uh, thanks again for sitting down and having a chat with me. I really, really appreciate having the opportunity to just pick your brains and, and chisel out a little bit of your, your wisdom, so to speak. So yeah, it was really cool. And if you're interested in hearing uh, a bit more of the discussion that was had amongst the boys, make sure you check out the link below in the description. Um, down in the description, you can also find links to Plastic Reality's social media accounts. Uh, go ahead, give them a like, give them a follow, make sure you keep up to date with their movements because, um, yeah, I certainly do think that uh, one day we'll be hearing them across the radios, across all sorts of streaming uh, platforms, and uh, yeah, it'll be really cool to, to sort of just see where they came from, see where they started. Uh, I might as well give myself a plug, uh, Simba96 on Instagram. Make sure you check me out there. Uh, I'd be super grateful if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, give this video a like, and leave a comment if you've got any questions. But uh, other than that, I'll be talking to you and seeing you soon. Cheers.